All right, well, got back to it. Boat's been sitting outside for seven months and nothing done on the project. So I thought, well, I go ahead and build a stand. Um, probably something I would recommend doing in the beginning just because it would give you a, a nice level, stable, sturdy platform instead of having to block them up. Um, this is just scrap metal head laying around, so I just had to buy the casters. Um, so, you know, boat sitting out here, got full of leaves and garbage. It's been sitting around doing nothing while I'm dealing with life issues. But anyway, went ahead and welded that up yesterday. Figured I'd uh, try and get my head back into this project, you know. Um, I, I built it kind of tall, which, you know, make it harder to get in and out of and work inside on, but, um, you know, I thought, well, I can always lower it. It's not that big a deal. And um, it's kind of nice to be able to get underneath it and and do whatever I might have to do, because that intake, I think the new plan, it's like I said, I'm trying to get my head back in it, figure out... You know, I, I lost a lot of memory on, on what I had going in my brain as far as, you know, the the, the pump mounting and um, and all that. But I, I believe I determined that the intake ring is going to get raised up. So I was going to cut out the back and, um, you know, and redo that, you know, to fit to fit better, but also a little bit higher. You know, I'm going to pull out those those engine mounts that I built. I'm going to try and uh, go back to the original mounting system. Um, probably in a carriage style that's um, supported at the at these main runners there. I've even forgot some of the terminology of these things. So I haven't really... My brain's been totally off of it for a long time. I think since my last video, the only thing I, I got done was putting that top cross base in, which, um, you know, is part of the original bulkhead. You know, I had already cut out the grooves to to fit the runners on the front deck, bottom. But basically, it, I think I was welding up the front, get this all welded up, and, um, and then deal with the deck. So put the deck on, cut it to shape, and um, and just and get it welded on. You know the the windscreen. I'm not really sure. I think the plan was I was going to put it on next, but at the same time, you know, to weld the hole, I need to be able to flip this thing, and it's going to be a lot more difficult to flip with the windscreen on. And I think you know part of the original design is the windscreen is somewhat of a support or whatever it may be. Um, I may not weld the deck to that that top piece until after I get the wood windscreen in. You know, possibly just weld the outside um, edges of the deck. And, um, you know, after the windscreen's on, um, deal with that brace to to the, the deck itself. But, um, you know, right now I got four wheels on it. You can see there's a there's a long section in the front I left. Um, it's pretty easy to pull around and move right now, but I, I thought about adding in um, two more in the front. Just, you know, swivels. The back the back are fixed and the front two now are, are swivel casters from Harbor Freight. Um, they're only good for 200 pounds each. And I think when I get into, you know, dropping the motor back in, um, and putting some weight in it, I'm going to want to distribute that weight better, you know, and, and move that, um, move the boat forward on it and then move some weight into another set of, of tires and wheels. And these are pneumatic. I'm not real thrilled about that. You know, it's possible I could change them out with solid or whatever if need be. Right now they don't seem to, doesn't bother them at all, but you know, there's only a few hundred pounds on there. So... Yeah, I'm trying to get the engine in there. You got another 250 pounds or so, and whatever else you're putting in. So, um, anyway, so I make a video letting people know I'm going to start working on it again, but um, it's not balls out. So, 
Um, you know, my rental house is still, I got some work done on it, but then it got bogged down with the lawsuit. So the last month has been dealing with finding lawyers and getting all that crap done. You know, if you're ever involved in a trust and there's any beneficiaries, like especially family, just uh, make sure you cover your butt and, you know, because even though, you know, they tell you everything's great because you're taking care of grandma, you know, for four years, um, in the end, they want theirs, you know, especially these baby boomers, piles of dung. You know, you move in, change your whole life, give up everything to take care of grandma the last four years of her life, and in the end, all they're concerned about is, what what do I get? So, anyway, still dealing with that, and then my, my mobile home, which uh, the insurance company won't insure after June, because it's empty. <laughs> um, so... You know, a lot of crap going on. I'll put videos out whenever I make any real progress. Um, probably be slow. Later.